Well, hello, 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 and welcome back to Skyrim. Um, in this episode, we will uh, meet Delphin and uh, then go to Whiterun, as we planned. Um, since uh, well, stop talking, no Um, since um. The YouTube editor is uh, going to be deleted. Um, I think I'm gonna start uh, using the AVS uh, uh, editor from now on <laughs> because you know I need to get used to it. So yeah, cool. Um, why not just swipe your way? What? That didn't take on? What did she say? Time, oh, the Talmor, I'm well, Thalmor have been looking for me. I've been watching them. So what's your plan? The Thalmor ambassador, Ellen Wendt, regularly throws parties where the rich and connected cozy up to the Thalmor. I can get you into one of those parties. Once you're inside the embassy, you can get away and find Ellen Wendt's secret files. I have a contact inside the embassy. He's not up for this kind of high-risk mission, but he can help you. His name is Malborn. Wood Elf. Plenty of reason to hate the Thalmor. You can trust him. I'll get word for him to meet you in solitude at the Winking Skeever. You know it? While you're doing that, I'll work on getting you an invitation to Ellen Wynn's little party. Winking Skeever. That reminds me of the Whispering Eye. Malborn. Any questions? Uh, nope. I'll see in solitude. Sounds good. Be careful. Malborn. Malborn. I am recording. Okay, so yeah, um, because I'm gonna use uh, the editor, I don't need to like tab out of the game every twenty minutes or whatnot. So at least that's good. This saves me a little bit of time. We got rooms and food, drink too. I cook. You know, to tell. you know what? I want to make some poison. Um. I never. Oh, uh, yeah, I need to level. I never actually went into into alchemy tree. I always uh, um, like use ingredients to just make random potions and then sell them. But I never actually put any perks here. Um, yeah, you know. Okay, I, I'd like to. Oops, I forgot perks. I like to make some poisons, so that would be cool. Anyway, for now, let's just find the sneak. And, uh, to, yeah, we need to go to this route now. Okay, cool. Now I'll try to be more sneaky uh, from now on. Okay. Let's go to White Run. Do you have any quest there? Um, hmm. That's DLC, DLC. Yeah, okay, so we don't really have anything there. I need to do that at some point. Oh yeah, that. Mm, okay, yeah. So yeah, and I also, um, I was thinking that uh, you know what, I'm not, I'm gonna explore all the caves and whatnot. Like, uh, I'm not gonna worry about uh, being too like a very high level and starting some quests where they give you weapons and armor and whatnot and you know them being under leveled because I am not worried about that. It's just it, I kind of feel bad about it because for example with the companions um, if I join them now you know, I'm using a steel sword right steel sword yeah so that's okay uh, so, you know, after I complete those few cool quests, I'll get Skyforce Steel, which is better than Steel. I think it's better than like, Kelvin and Orc. 
uh, weapons and whatnot. But for example, if uh, I would start the companion's quest uh, uh, after I, you know, I'm wearing ebony or the Daedra or dragon armor and equipment, then the sky for steel would be useless. Like I mean, everybody in the game talks about it. How how you know. Oh, how I wish I could uh, craft Skyforge steel and whatnot. And you know, you start the game, you start the companion's uh, quest uh, when you're like level 50 or something, and it's not, it's, you, you have no use for that sword. Or, you know, for axe or whatever you craft. So, yeah, that's, uh, I'm afraid that that's gonna happen with other quests as well. I know our history almost as well as Vignar by now. Yeah, I don't care. Um, I have to, wow, I have lots of money. What I'm thinking is that I should probably buy a house now. Because, uh, you know, I don't really like going in here. You know, my, my roommates would steal my dragon bones and whatnot, so... Uh, you know, I don't really... I wouldn't want that. Because, you know, I, I work really hard killing dragons and then they steal my stuff. I don't know, like, I don't remember how many bones and scales I had. Probably stole some. Uh, whoops. So yeah, for now, let's just put these away. But, let's take... Why do I have all this crap? Um... Let's just take everything else that we can carry. And yeah, I'll go into some thing as well. Uh, and, and I decided to go into light armor tree or not bath, whatever. And um, oh, one more. Interesting. Um, Okay, so I think we might be able to take everything. Except for bones. Uh, I could probably no. Scale is don't wait as much I think. But I can't put, I can't take all of them. Um one with ten. Or is it one not ten probably so? Okay. Alright, so what what? Oops. Why is there only Oh oh sh uh, okay, I forgot all the ingredients. Um this is so confusing this uh, layout I'm not I'm used to the I know the one only one. Okay, so I need to take these. Let's dress around here, yeah, okay. And all of the ingredients. I can eat uh, most of them. Oops, I accidentally took the bones. Let's just take everything for now and then we'll see what we can do and not what we can carry and what we cannot. Oh, yeah, I forgot I wanted to read a book. Um, okay, so, let me put these back, and that's all on that one. Um, hmm. I guess we can put these books here. Three more. Hmm. Um. Okay. Uh, let's let's eat the ingredients. Okay, so we can eat this one. This one.
Yeah, we have Death Dose and I think we have uh, the other one. I don't remember how it's called. If there are two plants that I know of that uh, uh, damage health. Fire salts, we don't need fire salts, we need frost salts, okay, so we'll keep that. Oh wow, 100. Pretty expensive. Giant stir. Human flesh, wow, human heart, oh my. Um, okay. Disgusting. Nice worth teeth, I think I need those for a quest as well, I'll keep those. Actually, now that I think of it, I think I needed the human heart as well, and the Daedra heart. Nighting, yeah, Nights, Nightshade, that's the one I was uh, thinking of. Ooh, and Nemrods as well. I thought they damaged stamina. But I guess not. Okay, and we're not over encumbered anymore. But uh, let's just keep going. Small burn. Yeah, and we could make some uh, some uh, health potions as well. Oh wow, look at that! Anyway, let's uh, what, what's the time? Actually, let's sleep uh, the night here. Oh, 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 I have something here that I don't need. Cobalt. Let's sleep till uh, eight o'clock. Um, yeah, let's say 30, that's fine. Cool. And go buy ourselves a house. Uh, one uh, kind of negative about uh, not having a timer and whatnot. Is because I don't know how long I'll be playing for. Which still like, doesn't affect the let's play or anything, it's just uh, I won't know, <laughs> you know, like, until you know the time I started, it's uh, 10 minutes after 12. And uh, I might have started it. No, I think I started before 12. Uh, well, wherever. I'll play for another hour or so. Um, I mean, I just started, so. Yeah, I actually wanted to uh, record a few hours earlier, um, around 9 o'clock, 9.30 I believe, is when I was preparing to uh, like start recording, but uh, my friend messaged me, <coughs> um, a friend that I haven't talked to in a while, <coughs> and uh, yeah, we just talked for like two and a half hours, and uh, yeah. And we would have talked a bit longer, but uh, I just, just that was a bit true of me. But I just said that uh, like I, I'm tired, and I want to go to sleep, so just so I could record. But I mean, the conversation didn't go anywhere. Okay, let's uh, let's buy a house. There's a house available right now. I'll take it. Here's the key to your new home. And we can upgrade it straight away. And the great. To help you. There are many ways to improve your home, provided you have the coin. And of course, don't forget to consult your home decorating guide for descriptions of the decorations you can buy. <laughs> I'll read that too. What would you like to purchase? But let's just buy everything. Uh, yeah, there is actually in this uh, in one of the DLCs there's a children's bedroom. You can adopt, well. but at the that means you can cannot get out in your laboratory. Is there anything else you'd like to purchase? Very well. Is there anything else you'd like to purchase? Very well. Is there anything else you'd like to purchase? Very well. Is there anything else you'd like to purchase? Very well. Is there anything else you'd like to purchase? Very well. Is there anything else you'd like to purchase? As you wish. Speak to me again if you decide to purchase some decorations for your home. Let's uh, read that book. I never actually read it before. 
white trim home decoration guide. Welcome to your new home. This decoration guide, Decorate Tank Guide, provides a list of packages that you can purchase from the steward of the hold. Each package contains furnishing, furnishings that decor for a specific part of your house, and these will be delivered and placed for you uh, for you upon purchase. All you need to do is provide the gold, the steward. All you need to do is provide the gold, and the steward will take care of the rest. The next time that you visit your home after making your purchases, you will see your new decorations and furnishing in place. Kitchen includes a fire pit, a small table, and two chairs, as well as a, a shelf store cooking supplies. The living room provides wall-mounted shelves, a few side tables, and two chairs placed near the fire pit, all near the center of the ground floor. It's a bit weird, like, why is the title here? We should have, which is no, uh, made three spaces and made a table on the next page. Anyway, dining room adds a long wooden table and a bench, as well as several shelves loaded with cutlery, dishes, and cookware. Alchemy lab laboratory, or how, how do you say it? I know in England some people say it laboratory, but uh, no, it's like la laboratory. Laboratory, laboratory, laboratory. Yeah. Alchemy laboratory is a package. This package adds an alchemy crafting station, a reading table, and a chair, and a large wardrobe to the rear area of the ground floor. This also includes the addition of a wall to, to divide the laboratory from the dining room. Children's bedroom. Instead of an alchemy lab laboratory, you can choose to furnish the room in the rear of your home with a cozy child's bedroom, including two beds, chests, and wall hangings. Note that this package will replace the alchemy laboratory if you have already purchased it, and vice versa. Loft. This package includes a few chairs and tables to fill out the upper levels of loft. I think that's uh, where Lydia stays. Like her her bedroom basically her room uh, bedroom adds two uh, adds two bedside bedside tables a dresser and a small table with two chairs to the master bedroom this also includes the addition of a wall to give the bedroom added privacy privacy oh yeah another word I think in England I'm I'm actually I'm not sure I mean I know that in England they pronounce it as privacy but I'm I believe in America they call it privacy. But uh, I don't know. I might be wrong. I prefer the the privacy pronunciation. Anyway, uh, I'm not gonna go into enchanting just yet because uh, I need more uh, more soul gems and whatnot. Uh, yeah. Anyway, we can. Next time you take a look. Next time, next time we can uh, probably sell something to him. Like uh, all of this. Uh, you know what? I should sell this. I'm not gonna use it. Yep. Yeah. Oh well. Uh, he doesn't have enough money. There's enough for these. And then yeah. Okay. You know, if you've got the aptitude, you should join the major college of Hmm. Okay, let me actually see. Maybe I can craft some poison. Oh wow. Um, this is this is, this is a bit weird, but anyway. Then road to death though. Um, okay, let's try something. Um, bleeding crown. That's not a lot. Craft. Mm, there's just magic, okay. There's just magic. Weakness to poison, weakness to poison. So, this is basically resists 4% of magic for 60 seconds. Target is 9% weaker to poison damage for 30 seconds. Damages to the target's health by 9. That's actually pretty cool. Like, I mean, man, this is just useless, but 9% weaker to poison. And then damages held by line. That's uh, those go hand in hand together pretty well. Okay, let's try something else. Um, how about Lamper? Mm, yeah, mm. Skewer Tail. That sounds interesting. 
Uh, damage health. Oh, nice. Interesting. Um, but it doesn't... So we didn't really... Did anything right. Oh, what the hell? We're naked. Like, it doesn't uh, matter whether you use uh, Skiver Tail or don't, right? The poison I got, if not this one. Um, <clears throat> Potion of Resist Magic. Um, Okay, so that's the one we created, and then... So where's the... Where's the one that I made? Environment. Poison of damage health. Okay, so yeah, so... Damages the target's health by 9. And the other one that I made, which was uh, resist magic, it's 9 health, so yeah, it doesn't. So using, from what I understand, what are the ingredients? Using uh, damage health, damage health, using the same. Um, let me just show you. So if this ingredient has damage health, and then, for example, Dragon's Tongue has damage health, and Fire Sword has damage health, that won't make any difference. Uh, so, it would be beneficial to use one ingredient which has damage health, then another ingredient which has weakness, poison, and then the third ing ingredient which has, uh, I don't know, damage to stam or something because then you will get all three benefits whereas using all the ingredients which has damage of health will only grant you the one um you know the one whatever skill not skill but you know what i mean okay so it's actually not worth using death bell with nimrod instead actually Actually, no, I think you do need to use two. Yeah, okay, so you do need to use two ingredients of the same, but then the third one can be something uh, different, like something entire, entirely different. Like, uh, actually, let me just check something. Okay, so, so damage health. Damage stamina regen. Okay. So if I use this, no, let's use something like this. Never mind, that does nothing. Uh, bear claw. Nothing. Damage health. So yeah, it doesn't make any difference. Salt pile. Slow, slow. Okay, target moves at 50% speed. Right, I think I understand. So. So, to get more effects on one potion, you need to have at least two of the same. You need to have ingredients that have. Uh, the two of the same, uh, no, I'm just gonna call these skills basically. If Death Bell and Ninrud has damage health, then you know we're gonna make a potion which poisons the health. But if uh, Death Bell also has slow and Ninrud also has slow, then it will uh, the potion will have the slow effect as well. And if the third ingredient, Red Mountain Flower, has uh, Restore Magicka, and uh, one of these two, for example, Death Bell also has Restore Magicka, then the potion will also have Restore Magicka one. Okay, so, so yeah, from what I understand, it's, uh, it's a waste of an ingredient which has 
more than two, like if, if all three ingredients have the same scales, but it's beneficial if only two ingredients have the same skill. Okay, I don't know if that makes any sense, but I, I think I have it figured out in my head, so that's, that's all that matters, right? <laughs> 